if you bastards can do 90. Hello folks, uh, Adam and Ian on the bank. This is pre at Cast Corpor days. This is how we used to do it back when we very, very first started fishing together. Back to our first venue, Pipe Hill. Uh, so we're on the what lake? Alders. On Alders Lake, uh, carp up to 20 pound. Um, but we ain't fishing carpy, we are old school in it. Um, Got the old feeder rods out, got the float rods ready. Sorry, just having to keep an eye on my quiver tip because I've already missed one. Because I don't hear an alarm, because there ain't an alarm. Because, like, it, I proper shit my pants. <laughs> what do you reckon about it, Dad? Oh, mate, oh, it's, we've only been here, what, 15, 20 minutes, and we're, we're having a laugh already. It's good of fun. Like you say, going back old school to where it's all begun. Uh, so, as you can see, no outcast carp gear and nothing like that, no clothing and nothing. Literally come out, basics, I've got quiver, quiver tip rod and float rod, that is it. And yeah. look at look at the size of the net, it's fucking huge. Yeah man, it'll be some fun today I think. <laughs> so if we get any fish, we'll come back to you. Bye. How's your session going so far, Ad? Two bream. Two bream. Two bream. What about you? One bream. No, two bream. Two bream. Two bream. One carp. Lost two bream. One right at the net. Little fucker just jumped off the hook. As if. So, we're on the float now. Just to have a crack. And I'm using one of my very, very first reels ever. Possibly my first reel ever. Can't really remember. So I'll turn you around and uh, let you have a look at that. So there it is. Daewa 125M close face reel. Now that brings back some uh, some good memories from uh, the open old days when I was a kid. But uh, I think I've had one on the float so far. Yeah, I had a snotter on the float. Uh, it's not as easy as I seem to remember it being. I thought it was like a fisher chuck, but apparently not. How's your session gone, Ad? Oh, faulty. It's good to be back uh, doing what we what we started doing. Uh, a fair few fish. It's nothing massive, but that's been really enjoyable. Really enjoyable. And have you caught anything new today, Adam? Yeah, I had a So we've had green, barbel, carp, let's so say we've had common, crucian, mirror, mirror fully scaled gousty, roach, fair old mix, are we kid? Yeah man, yeah, great session. So, I think you, you lose where you come from, 
really glad I didn't get rid of uh, all my stuff. So yeah, happy days. Oh, so we'll get back to you in a bit. Sure. Well then, so you've had a glimpse of where we started, how we re met, I suppose, after a long time not working yeah, together. Yeah. yeah. And uh, now, as you can see, this is where we are. This is where we where we are now. Um, two and a half, three years down the line. I say we've done this part for probably about two years. Um, this was our local venue. It was always the go-to venue. You don't catch massive fish, but you catch a lot of them. Yeah. And you have an enjoyable day. I mean, it costs us seven pounds to fish. Yeah, one rod, but you get from seven o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night, and it's cost you your bait, two points of maggots, and I'd already got some some of the, the Sonya baits pellets. So that's in. We've had a cracking day. To be fair, we, we've had the best part of forty fish between us. Yeah. Um, we've had uh, bream. Barbel, chub, chub, carp, mirror carp, mirror common, crucian, ghost, uh, uh, roach, roach. We, we've had all sorts. Yeah. Um, but we've had a, a good laugh. Um, it has been a laugh. Good to get back to our roots. Yeah. Um, back to like normal business next week. Hopefully, if they ain't spawning. Yeah. Back to. Uh, we've got um, 24 booked at um, Fox Hills Fishery. Um, that's if they're not like I say, if they're not spawning. If they are spawning might try and find another venue um, but we'll have to see on that one um, but either or they're all the uh, try and put the link to the fox hills video that we've already done at the end of this one so yep. that uh, you can see where we're going yep so until then peace